This is literally a reef, but I'm wearing it as a headpiece because I'm uploading this on Halloween, so. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's me Cecilia. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be bringing back an old favorite from my channel. I'm going to be bringing back my Bingo Picks My TBR. And I thought because I was just kind of in the mood for it, I look very fall festive right now. Reds, oranges, and yellows and everything like that because don't ask me why. I just kind of was in the mood to pick my bingo and like let fate basically kind of pick my TBR. I am changing one thing originally from the original rules is that I am going to be having a free space again just because I, I feel like it so um so some prompts I might get like four only four books depending on how my bingo goes but you know it's fine. This month I'm taking place in one readathon maybe two but one definitely and that's going to be Indigiathon. This is a month-long readathon hosted by Brody from Et to Brody and Michelle from Thor Wants Another Letter. Now these are amazing um, booktubers. Um, basically this readathon is about reading and specializing, specializing, reading indigenous authors, indigenous works with indigenous characters. I haven't read very many and I know I, f I sound bad but I haven't read a lot of indigenous authors indigenous works so I thought that this readathon would be perfect for me. I have a bunch of books that I think I might work but depending on how the challenges goes we'll do that. So I'm going to specialize in kind of indigenous authors but if the prompt doesn't work for me the books that are available at my library I will pick from my physical TBR. I can't move very much with this headpiece on. It's not even a headpiece, it's literally a reef. What am I talking about? <laughs> All right, but I have my bingo card ready. All right, and let's have the bingo go. One eternity later. All right, we got it. So I have a bingo. It literally took longer because my bingo caller was glitching and it kept resetting the numbers so I kept getting re redos. But I finally got one. I got the eyes all the way down. Let me screenshot this. So let's do that. So my first strip of paper. Read an atmospheric or horror book. I have a perfect book for this. So for this challenge, I'm going to be reading Crocia by Owl Going Back. I need to fix this. It's hurting my head. This is another book that will work for the indigenous and dingy a thon. Wow, I cannot say that. For the indigi of thon. Yes. Um, I don't know much about this, but I believe that um, there's been like some murders. A couple of people are thinking, hey, it's like this mystical bear and they find some stuff. And maybe it is a mystical bear. Maybe it's something else. Um, it's not very long, but I've heard really great things about this. So I'm really excited to see how this one goes. That one was for I-29. Now this one is for I-16. So read a book that is out of your comfort zone. Um, mm, I don't, I don't know. I don't have a lot of books that I'm like very uncomfortable with, if that makes sense. For this, I'm going to be doing Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. This book is a YA historical fiction dystopian kind of thing. It's, um, I know it's like an ultimate history where Basically, it's like either I think it's right after the Civil War and the dead are coming back to life as zombies. So um, the Afri um, African-Americans and um, indigenous people are basically being trained to kill these zombies. And why this one's out of my comfort zone is because I know that there is bad indigenous rep in here. The, main, the author is not indigenous herself and I've heard some if he thinks about it so I think this would be perfect for out of my comfort zone because I'm not comfortable with reading that bad rep you know what I mean now this strip of paper is for I-23 and this is read a collection of sci-fi short stories that's very specific do I have a collection of sci-fi short stories on here what if I cheat and I just say just a collection of short stories or short media and they just aren't sci-fi. I'm cheating a little bit. I'm just going to do a short story collection kind of thing and I'm going to be doing Not Your Princess by Lisa um, Charlie Boy. Now this is a collection um, of works. There's like artists, there's essays, there's poetry, um, all that kind of stuff in here and in, I know it talks um, 
it's all about indigenous women and i know it's about i believe it's about just the struggles about being an indigenous woman um nowadays i think this book came out in like late 2000s or, or like early 2010s whatever but um it's not very long and i'm actually really excited to get into, into this one my handwriting is literally terrible okay next strip of paper is i26 this is gonna be read a book with an intersectional main character oof this <laughs> i have uh, so many books i can read for this and this is hard i think for this book i'm gonna be reading labyrinth lost by zor 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 Wow. By Zoraida Cordova. Um, I don't know much about this, but I, I know that um, our the main character is bisexual and she does have a romance in this book. And um, I think this takes place somewhere in Latin America. Latin America. So it, um, and I believe that she is from an indigenous, or I believe that she is indigenous. So I think this is gonna be really interesting. Again, I've heard a lot of things by um, really good things by Zoraida Cordova. So I think that this is gonna be a really good book. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be using my library this month. Last prompt. This one is for I twenty. Let's read a book with criminal activities. With criminal. With criminal activities. I'm actually gonna be reading our Page Dwellers Book Club pick for November, which is My Lovely Wife by Samantha Downing. Now, I believe this is a thriller, and usually in thrillers people break the law. So it's a husband and wife, they're a normal couple, but um, I believe they kill people in order to like spark stuff into their marriage and you know, killing people is criminal, so. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be our book club pick. We're gonna have, um, I believe we're having our um live show on the 24th of november so look forward to that um i'm really excited about this actually um, i'm kind of curious to see how this is gonna go um because thrillers are a hit or a miss for me sometimes they're really great sometimes they're not um emma reads a lot more thrillers than i do and sarah i don't think she's ever read a thriller so this is gonna be totally new territory for her but um i'm really excited about this but yeah um again using my library liberally this month uh those are all the books that that was my bingo tbr um leave a like if you want to see more of these for me i love doing these i didn't like doing them for a while because i felt like there was an obligation to do them but i think just me taking a break for a couple months was really helpful so i feel energized i think i'm going to keep doing these again i love doing these so yeah that's it for today guys i will see you in another video peace